Hello everyone and welcome back to your Kung Fu class. So today we're carrying on again learning our Xiao Liu Han. I hope you guys have been practicing all the movements that we've been doing throughout the weeks together and last week I gave you a little bit of homework to do to practice your Zha, Zha Zhang. Do you remember? I was practicing a block. Zha Zhang. So you're practicing this movement. So hopefully you've managed to do that this week and we're going to be carrying on and really doing it in this session now okay so let's start by doing a warm-up let's uh, warm up our joints so wrist and ankle so today we're not going to do much of a physical warm-up i hope you guys are able to do that before you start the class so we're going to go straight into learning the next section so we just do a little bit of warm-up to start with we'll recap some movements um, and then we'll go into doing the form okay and over to the side so we stretch over. Okay, and the other side. Okay, and to the floor. Good, and stretch over to one side, one leg. Good, and then to the other side. Okay, good. Let's just rotate your neck round. And change. Okay, and swing your arms forward. Okay, and backwards. Okay, your arms in this position, and we're gonna to twist to the side. Okay, go one, two, change, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, open your shoulders up like this. Okay, go one and two, change size three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good, let's warm up our hips. So circle your hip around. Okay, and change. Okay, very good, your knees. So rotate your knees round. Good, and change the other way. Okay, and bend your knees down to the ground. Okay, and while we're in this position, we're gonna stretch our leg out to the side. So you're just gonna jump out into the pubu position. Okay, and really stretch your leg out. Yeah, good, okay, and then change to the other side. So stretch out to the side. Very good. Okay, from here, your toes up. Okay, and then down again, and then toes up onto the other side. Okay, change to gongbu. So gongbu position. Okay, push your hip down, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, change. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm just going to show you another stretch called a Jung Yatwe. So from here, you're going to stamp your leg and put your front leg straight and you're going to bend your back leg. Then you're going to reach down and grab your toes like this. Okay, and then you're going to stretch down towards your foot. Yeah, so try and keep this leg straight if you can. Okay, so one hand here. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab toes. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then change to the other leg. So from here, so one hand on your foot and the other hand on your thigh to stop your knee bending. Okay, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then grab like this, pull your toes towards you, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Okay, relax your legs. Hopefully, your legs are nice and straight, stretched out now, which is really good. 
Okay, fantastic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by doing a little bit of our arm movement. So remember we were had our arms in this position here and you were blocking down and then you were knife striking in front. Yeah, and then you're gonna change the other side, block down, knife strike. Yeah, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, fantastic. Okay, relax your arms. So this, this movement on the outside is just the kind of the external movement. When you're doing this, it's really good to find some way to train your hand as well. So your hand becomes stronger. So if you're just training the movement, then you might not actually be able to apply it. But if you're doing a zaja, yeah, you need to be able to do some kind of conditioning to make your hands, you know, your palms much stronger to be able to use this movement. There's lots and lots of different techniques that we're taught um, here at um, UK Shaolin to make our palms strong, like iron palm training, or we do lots of uh, different training in China, like water, water training and you know in in sand training so yeah so it's important you're going to learn the external movement but it's important to fill your movement with some um internal training as well and some strength and all kinds of stuff so yeah okay if you obviously if you want to know more about that you can go onto our website and you can learn all about those internal trainings and things like that to get some more detail great okay so let's try again let's try again we're going to do another 10 of this set okay you ready so Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, really good guys, well done. Okay, so you remember we also did the movement from here, we did our, yeah, our movement like this. Yeah, do you remember? Guo Tua. So again, from here, go one over your head and back and then round and punch. This was the last movement that we did in the last section of the form, remember? So from here, your left hand on top, your right hand underneath, round your head and turn, punch. Okay, again, so one, two, three. Okay, so you can just you can take any part of the form and you can keep training that movement over and over again until it feels really comfortable inside your body. You don't have to take your form and practice it all the way from the start to the finish. You know, you can just take a small section and really work on that. Okay, so we're gonna work on the guo tou. Yeah, ready? And again, one, two, three. And again, so one, two, three. Okay, should we do two more times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? And one, two, three. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. Good, brilliant, great guys. Okay, so now you remember your chabu. Yeah, you remember your chabu. You know, if you practice this movement, you can practice this, uh, this movement called jiu chabu. So it's like crossing over, like backwards and forwards movement. So you can, if you've got enough space, you guys can practice this movement to help your chabu movement, but also to help your coordination at the same time. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So from here, usually your foot, just your footwork, you're gonna step in front, open to the side, and then behind, and then to the side, and then in front, and then behind, and then to the side, yeah? So you're changing your feet. Your arms are just gonna be kind of matching. Yeah, they're kind of matching like this. Yeah. So your arms will be moving left and right as your legs are alternating. So I'm just gonna show you that again. So just slowly. So from here, like one, two, three. Yeah, so it's quite difficult. I'm probably coming off the screen, but it doesn't matter, yeah? So just from here, you just try and concentrate on your, your movement, like your leg movement. So like one, two, three, and you just keep going. 
If you have a really long haul, you can just keep going the movement all the way down the hall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all the way to the end of the hall. And then when you've gone to the one end, then you can literally, you can come back the way you came. It's quite difficult to show you on camera because you've got such a small space to do it in. But that's called dual jubble. So it's really good for your, your coordination and you're turning your hip at the same time. Yeah? Yeah, you can practice this when you've got when you've got a little bit of time at home or when you're into practice. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight into, into the form. We're gonna recap a couple of times the form from start to finish. I'll recap it again, we'll go slowly, we'll go over the last section that we did, and then we will start our new section. We've got a lot of this movement, yeah. Yeah, a lot of this uh jong. So jong is palm, za means to stab yeah stab forward okay so a lot of this stabbing movement like this okay <laughs> okay good so let's start the form from the start um, and then all the way up to the up to the where we left off last time okay good try to go slowly yeah so we can remember okay so shall your hand okay breathe in out Okay. One. So from here you will jump. We're just gonna go up, change your foot, pubu, arms back, gumbu, here, punch the ears, grab, twist, block, stand up, foot up. This double strike again, again, strike. Then from here, grab, punch up, drag down, punch down. Okay, from here, grab. Then you have archi jaw, then punch, then punch down. From this position, then we have one, two, one, two, three. Then, okay. Punch. Block. One, two, three. Then from here, side push. One, two, three. And then from here, you're going to sit down. Then push. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're able to follow that. Yeah, we're gonna do it again, don't worry. We'll do it one more time. Whew. Let's get energy back. Okay. So this time, I'll try to slow down again. So I try to you're doing the movement. You can't get carried away with the rhythm of the, the, form, the form, but yeah, I'll try to slow down again. Right, ready? So, just relax. Okay, let's do this together. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in, arms up. And out. Bring your chi to your dantian. Then, you wait. Okay, one, cross in front. Two, jump, back, punch. Three, grab, block. Stand up, grab, punch. Run. Okay, grab, punch your jaw, hit, punch. I just move back a little bit. So from here, go, one, two, punch, 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 block, punch, one, two, three, slight push, 20, We got up to that section in the, in the form. This, remember, is a shardun, but you don't have to do shardun here. If it's easier for you, you can just sit up into the shibu position. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the new section. I'm gonna try and do it a little bit slowly because this movement is a little bit complicated, lots of stabbing and 
moving backwards at the same time. So I'm gonna show you the movement and then I'm gonna break it down step by step, okay? So, from here. So remember, we have this movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. So from here. Yeah, sorry about that. So this is the next section. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, so we finished, I remember now, we finished on this gumbu punch. Yeah, we did the guo tuo here, punch. Okay, so the next movement's got that similar movement that you did earlier on. Yeah, it's got that, that kind of bow twin movement. So from here, your right hand is gonna come up over your head. So cover, block your head. And the other hand is gonna come underneath. This is like a hidden, hidden fist. So this movement's blocking. And once this is blocking, this one's gonna come out into that eagle position, yeah? Your arms are out, okay? I'll show you again. So from here, so up your, just your arm position is like one, yeah, and two, yeah? I'll show you uh, facing you. So from here, so you've got your bow to punch. Yeah, so from here, your arms like one, two. Yeah, again, I'll do this way. So from here, one, two. So you're gonna go in, open, out. So your left hand is up and your right hand is down, facing downwards, yeah? Okay, let's try that together. So, gumbu punch. So, your leg is just gonna step back. Yeah, your leg is gonna step back. So, as you do it, you're gonna step back. Bow turn. And open. Now, as you open up into this position, you're gonna squat down into shabu. Yeah, so kind of your feel will go down at the same time, yeah? So from here, punch, you go one. As you squat down, you're gonna go into your shabu position. Your body slightly forward and looking, looking towards your right. Yeah, looking towards the right direction. Yeah. Okay, and again. So from here, punch. And let's do this together. So step back, yeah. Hand over your head. Yeah, the other one on the inside. Yeah, now the hand that's on the inside is gonna come up above your head. The other one down, you're gonna squat down into shibu, shibu, sorry. Yeah, and lean your body forward, stretch your arms open. Yeah, and then look towards the direction you're going in. Okay, good. Let's try again two more times and we'll just try and speed the movement up a little bit more, okay? So from here, you go one, and two. Okay, and again. Gumbu. Ready? And one and two. Okay? Well, let's do it one more time. Yeah, we're gonna keep practicing. You know, we only have half an hour together, but we should just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep training, yeah? It's good for us. <laughs> okay, so from here, I'm gonna go one, two. Okay, so we're in this shibu position. We're in a shibu position like this. Yeah, our arms open. So from this position, you're gonna step back into gumbu. Yeah, and what are you gonna do? Yes, right, you're gonna block and sajang. Yeah, so you're gonna block back into this position and into this sajang position. Yeah, so remember, I was getting you to practice your homework all this week. So this is where you get to actually do it. Yeah, go back. Okay, so shabu position, again from here, shabu, so step back into gumbu, and then the hand comes forward, the left hand goes down underneath your elbow, and this one comes straight. 
After this movement, you're gonna raise your, your left leg up, yeah, and then pull back, so like a block down. Yeah, so your right hand is gonna come back to your waist, and then you're gonna block with your front palm, yeah, like a blocking forward in a T-sheet, T-sheet position. Okay, so let's try that again. So from here, we're gonna go one, two, yeah, so here. Okay, the next position is quite simple again. So from here, you're gonna step back and you're gonna do another, another stabbing palm forward. Yeah, another stabbing palm. Yeah, so from here again, we're gonna go one, block, two, block. And then from here, you're gonna step down into this is called a guaybu position. So from here, guaybu position, yeah, and then ha, another stabbing palm, yeah. The so coin is like this. You kind of sat back on your leg. Yeah, sat back on your leg, and the other one open wide, and then here in this position. Yeah, so like stab, ha, stab. Okay, good, very good. Okay, so we're gonna try this one again. We're gonna try to break it down a bit slower, and then we kind of speed it up. So from this position here. Again, so one, two, three, and four. Yeah, this is quite slow, yeah, quite slow. Later on, you can do your own timing, like, ha, 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 yeah, and do your own timing to it. But for now, we're just learning, so we just keep it really simple. Okay, and again. So we have one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Again? Of course. Okay, go from here. And one, two, and three. Yeah, good. So, let's do it all the way from the beginning. So from our punch, all the way through to our eagle, to our stab. Block, stab, and down. Yeah? Yeah, easy for you guys. Okay. So, gumbu punch, yeah? Punch. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, and four, and five. Yeah? Okay. Do it again. So, from here. Ah, uh, from here. <laughs> Ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> okay, good. So hopefully you guys have got that last section. You've got the movement. So the next section is really exciting. Yeah, you have to tune in next week to get your next Shaolin Kung Fu fix. Yeah, great. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed your class today. Let's do a little bit of a warm down and finish. Let's relax our legs. Woo, okay. And let's swing our arms forward. And backwards. One forward, one back. And the other way. Okay, just stretch your knees out. So from here, stand on one leg. Just bring your knee towards you and really just stretch out your knee. Stretch out your hip. Yeah. Okay, good. And change the other side. And really stretch this leg out. Also help you to balance at the same time. Yeah. Okay, good. Fantastic. Okay, good guys. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this session together. Um, keep practicing. So remember, you can take this video clip and you can just keep rewinding it and pausing it and going over the movement just so you've got the movements ready in your head um, and that you can learn the movements over and over again. So yeah, keep practicing at home. And hopefully I will see you next time. Um, if you want to learn some more in-depth learning uh, by Shaolin Kung Fu, then you can go onto our website, which is www.ukshaolin.net. 
loads of classes on there for you to try. You can sign up and do a free trial, which is really cool, and you can try it all out. Okay, good. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you again next week. Okay, shaka, class finish.